Welcome back to wagertalk.com NFL playoff action. We've got the Atlanta Falcons on the road at Philadelphia playing the number one seed who is an underdog. Guys, we haven't seen that before, but obviously we haven't seen a starting quarterback of the, you know, go down like this. And then Philadelphia has looked that bad in the last couple weeks that we have seen the Atlanta Falcons open up the favorite. This is going to be your best bet, Ralph. So I'm going to go to you, Preston. How do you look at this game and, you know, history of number one seeds and everything, but Philadelphia struggled the last couple of weeks. They already had everything locked up, so that's part of it. But still, they're not the same offense without Carson Wentz. Yeah, I hadn't looked at any of the history stuff. I didn't realize that this was the first time a one seed had been an underdog at home. And I you know, obviously they're home, they're the one seed. But I, <laughs> I think it should be pick, actually. And the reason I haven't bet it yet is meaning the Eagles. Uh, a few things. Falcons is my only NFC future. I bet it at 30-1 to 1 in the middle of the year before they played Seattle. And then I added 24 to one when the playoffs were set because it was beautifully set up where I didn't think the Rams were very good. We bet yeah. plus um, points against the Rams. And then now you're getting a Wentzless Eagles team. So I added more. So I'm a huge Falcons backer now. I don't know if I really want to waste, you know, one of my units to spare so-called on a plus three of the Eagles team. That's, you know, Nick Foles is still the quarterback and they haven't really played in a couple of weeks with some extra time and the experience, which was obviously I think a factor in the Rams game. So, I'm kind of debating inside what I need to do. I'm not sure. I'm probably just going to end up rooting for Atlanta and stay off. But if anyone wanted to back Philly, the Eagles numbers say it's definitely too high now at plus three. Ralph, one of the things here with Atlanta that, you know, obviously the casual fans going to look and they look at what they see right now. And they see the Eagles obviously struggled down the stretch without Wentz. They saw the Falcons go on the road, shut down the highest scoring team in the NFL, held the Rams to 13 points last week. But as we talked about, we didn't know what Jared Goff was going to be able to do. No matter how good he played all season, this was still his first playoff game. And history has dictated guys making their first playoff start haven't done very well. Now you, you've got an Atlanta team that from a scheduling dynamic, this is their fourth road game in five weeks. And they're playing back-to-back -back road games where they played on the West Coast last week and now we're playing on the East Coast this week. How much of a factor do you put into that? Well, I think it's huge. I think this is, this is overreaction all, all over the game, both side and total. You know, it's, if, if Atlanta was getting 6.5 at, at L.A., that means they'd be getting 9.5 or 10 in Philadelphia. So we've seen a 13-point reaction with Wentz being gone. Now, granted, Wentz had a 33-7 ratio. The team looked different, but you had, you had Nick Foles coming in. He played two games. He didn't play that last game when they looked horrible against Washington. They've had Nick Foles, who's an experienced NFL starting quarterback, and they've worked with him for two weeks against, you know, they, they practiced against both of these defenses. So, uh, by the way, first NFL, first number one seed to be a dog. NFL home dogs are 26-13-2 in the playoffs. So, you know, over the last 15 years, they've been a solid investment. But in this game, you know, we, we know Atlanta is an, is an over-adjustment, and I think the same thing with the total. I think the total is an over-adjustment. If these two teams played in week eight, number would have been 48. You know, the weather's decent this weekend. We're not going to have any problems with that. I think Foles gets going. I think Atlanta scores their points. Over the total is my best bet in this game. Okay, good stuff from Ralph. He says to take the over 41 and a half. And guys, if you want to save $10 on a package this week, use coupon code Brady in the number 10. That's Brady in the number 10. You can get $10 off any package this week at Wager Talk. Just enter that in the coupon code at checkout and you'll save the $10. That coupon will be active through midnight on Sunday. And guys, if you like these videos, do us a favor, hit the thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to share it with all your friends. We'll be back with more here at wagertalk.com.